What is up you guys, it's your friendly neighborhood mailman here. And today, we're gonna be looking at a video of Do all men think the same? And as a male, I think I can say that Eh, probably not. We probably all don't think the same. I mean, like, it's pretty obvious that gay guys and straight guys don't think the same. And are they both not male? I mean, like, let's all be honest here. To a gay guy, prison just might be heaven. There's just a shit ton of sexually frustrated men locked in one giant building nearly 24 hours a day, and a majority of them want to fuck something. When you go to prison, the most important thing in your life is going to be booty. Yeah, I better listen to it. A man's butt. Uh -huh. Booty, getting some booty is more important than eating food. It's more important than drinking water. If I see a man I like, I tell him like this here. I like you. He likes you. And I want you. And he wants you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. But to a straight guy, that's probably more fear than pleasure. Let's be honest. No one's trying to willingly get fucked by Bubba. Now that I got you guys sitting on the edge of your seats in suspense wondering how this video is gonna end, let's get right into this spoil free video. Just saying I didn't actually watch the full video. So I think they all probably could just come together and just say, you know what, we all are the same. We're not really that different after all. I like the way the old school ways work. They did work, we just messed it up. So that's important to you, to be like the breadwinner? I'm the caretaker of society. I mean like, all day, every day, my brother, you can be the caretaker of society. But if some hot, rich woman, let's be honest, she doesn't got to be hot. If some rich woman walked up to me just like, I want to be your sugar mama, baby. I, all right, okay, <laughs> I ain't saying no. Mackenzie Bezos, I just heard that she got freshly divorced. I think she got around $35 billion just laying around. She was just like, yo, straight, you cute, come give me that dick. I ain't gonna say no. Bro, all I can think about right now is whenever Mackenzie Bezos goes to her next family reunion, as soon as she steps in, they're gonna play this one clip. I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my home. Change my state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. Bro, that's the one time where I would actually come in a girl and hope that she gets pregnant. Come on, baby. We got to stick together for the kids. I can't just let my babies grow up without a dad. Kids going to a private school, they could end up in gangs and doing drugs. I mean, like, look, the brother knows what's going on. He, he knows how to come up whenever he sees it. If a girl just walks up to me and says, hey, I'm a multimillionaire, I just want someone to come home to fuck me every day. I mean, like, who am I to say no to her? At that point, it would just be plain rude. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is a good question. Oh my god. The balance of nature is out of whack. Why the fuck are the only two black people here worried about their penis size? Bro, them three white guys to the left, they must be packing some heat. Because, oh my god, if the black guys are worried about their penis size, those three white guys must be in porn or some shit. To be honest, I think I actually seen this guy's work on the Bang Bros. I think his dick was the same size and diameter as a Monster Energy can. I mean, like, I wasn't really paying attention to his dick. But as soon as he took his dick out, the girl's asshole was the same size. <laughs> Thank God I don't have monetization. This shit can't get demonetized. At this point, Monster might as well sponsor him. I mean, like, Red Bull has Ninja. Monster might as well get Johnny Sins. They're on the equal platform of fame at this point. Everyone knows Johnny Sins. No one just wants to talk about him. But he's up there on Ninja level of fame. Let's be honest. This man is the Kim Kardashian of porn. There's zero way you've ever watched porn and not seen at least one scene with this man in it. Like, <laughs> it's just a normal thing to be worried about like when you're growing up like you're like am i normal you know like he's like yeah whenever you're like 13 14 you know through your teens 
I get it. You're worried about your dick size. Like, am I big enough? But I mean, like, as soon as you become a grown ass man, you should know if you're big enough or not. Let's be honest. Getting out of tape measure, if you're below five, you're below average. You're already starting off the rat race of life with a disability. Oh. <laughs> I, I changed my mind because what he said was it, it made a lot of sense because I remember the first time I saw porno and I saw a black guy's penis I was like I'm not like that wow the racism first time I saw a black guy's penis what are you trying to say only black people <laughs> have big dicks I'm guessing I'm thinking of a different man. I guess his dick isn't the same size as a Monster Energy can. Also, it's kind of funny how all these guys that had all this confidence, oh, I'm not worried about my penis size. As soon as it's like, hey, yo, bro, you can change your mind. They're probably just thinking, ah, I don't want to look like too much of a dick. I got to go walk over here with the other people that are worried about their dick size. I'm like, bro, if you got a huge dick, just say it. You don't have to go with the plebs with the little baby dicks compared to you. I mean, like, there's zero reason for you, like, oh, I got to sympathize with the norms. If you have a huge dick, my guy, you don't have to be like, oh, my seven inch dick is shrimp like compared to the giant black man's 14 inch dick. I'm like, bro, you have a huge dick if it's like seven inches. Let's be honest. Just because some black guy's dick is bigger than yours doesn't mean you do not have a huge dick. As I got older, I perfected my craft. I've never had a problem with women. It has nothing to do with the penis. It's all about, it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. You just love a woman. You embrace each other. And it's just, I've never had a problem with a woman since then. God damn, my man said the motion in the ocean. He's selling the seven seas with this dick. To be honest, I still think this guy has a fucking huge dick. L let's be honest, this, this, bi this is big dick energy right here. Oh, I perfected my craft. It's not about the size, it's about the motion in the ocean. If you have a two inch dick, if you know how to hit it, you can make a girl have the orgasm of her life. I mean, like, this is what a bodybuilder would say to you if he's trying to make you pay for his personal training. You'll never be as big as me, but you know what? You can be the biggest you that you are. I think for younger guys, this is the concern that I'm realizing is like, maybe if these discussions were more open about size and, and whatever, and, and that really over time it all becomes okay and it's fine, um, maybe that would help a lot. Help a lot with what? What do you mean help a lot with? The guy that was speaking just before you told you what helped a lot. Him actually knowing how to fuck <laughs> helped him out a lot with his confidence and shit. My brother, that's right. These hoes ain't getting no more free meals. See, the thing is, most guys probably wouldn't have a problem with this if the girl even pays for a date. How many times does a girl even pay for a date? And McDonald's doesn't count. I mean like a real actual date. It is usually tradition that guys pay for everything. Not just the first date like they're trying to say here. Every date. If she has to pay for at least one of them, you're already the wrong one. You guys could go on hundreds of dates. But if you're like, you know what, you're paying for this one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I know you ain't do that. Mm -mm. We, 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 we breaking up right now. Mm -mm. You ain't my man. <laughs> we getting separate checks. <laughs> I like the way the old school ways work. They did work. We just messed it up. So that's important to you to like take that leadership role? To be, Tradition. To be like the breadwinner? I'm the caretaker of society. I don't even like seeing it this way. Once you give the woman the power, then you just demasculated yourself. I, I just, I want to stick to what's made me happy. And my, my grandparents, my parents, I'm just going to stick with it because it works. It's not perfect, but it works. Mm. Be a man, plain and simple. Uh, I think, I, I don't know, I think we're just getting in dangerous territory when we start talking about chivalry. At the end of the day, it's like, yo, baby, if you want to pay for this, like... Bro, I bet this sexy motherfucker never paid for a date in his life. He used that same little... Yo, baby, if you want to pay for this, like... Oh, and each and every one of them, and they fell for it each and every time. He's like that one guy that went on Tinder. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he was just dying and dash. Like he would go on a date with the girls. <laughs> he was just dying and dash. She said when they met at BJ's in Pasadena, he ordered right away. She says after he scarfed down most of his meal, he got up. Left maybe like half a baked potato and then received a phone call and said, um, oh, I need to take this call. Make sure they don't take the rest of my meal. But she says he never returned, leaving her with the bill. So I was shocked that anybody would do this. All the girls like, oh, this is disgusting. I can't believe he would do that. To me, I'm just like, man, this man knows what's up. This man's doing a little come up right now. He said, I ain't paying for shit. I've been having to pay for too long. And that was y'all's turn. My man was sly with it. Every time after he was done eating, he would just say, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. Just sneak out like he's a ninja. My man said, I ain't paying for shit. There is no hierarchy here. Like, if you want to pay for this, pay for this. Maybe next time I'm like, I just got a check, so I'll pay for it. Wasn't this the first meal, though? You yeah, said? the first one. You only yeah. get one chance to make a first impression. What does it matter if, if it's a girl or a guy? It's 2019, and your logic shouldn't be, like, no disrespect, like, oh, because my grandpa did it, and it worked for him, then it works for me. If she's not going to date me that second time because I didn't pay for her, I think I dodged a bullet. Bro, fuck a bullet. You dodged an R36. I mean, like, I think this guy right here is speaking the absolute truth. If the only thing stopping you from going on a second date with someone is that you had to pay for the first one, then you're just a shallow motherfucker. Guys and girls. I support the Me Too movement. Whoa. Three, two, one, go. Be real, be real. <laughs> what do you tell a child who is accused of rape by a woman, has his whole life destroyed, and then people just go, huh? Eh. There's always gonna be people that take advantage of it. It's not gonna be perfect. We're figuring it out as we go, but I think it's done more good than it's done bad. Bro, there is no, we're figuring it out as we go. There is no, I think it's done more good than bad. There should be no bad. You are allowing innocent people to have their lives destroyed over what someone says, not what the court says, not the court saying we found this person guilty over what one person tweeted out or says in a video. There should be none of that. that, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. There should be no, we're figuring it out as we go. Now, let's be honest, the Me Too movement did start out as a good thing, but as it went on over time, there has been a shit ton of false accusations that have been coming out that are just horrible, ruining people's lives. And you're just like, well, you know, it's not perfect. It's like if a detective said that 50% of the people that he charges with murder on death row may be innocent. Yeah, it's a flawed system, but we're figuring it out as we go. You know, just innocent people dying. You know, that's whatever, my dude. You know, I gotta keep my conviction rates up or else it's gonna look like I'm slacking off here. You know what I mean? I don't wanna look bad in front of my superiors. I'm trying to get a promotion here. For us to say like, oh, he did that to me and all of a sudden now we've like, vindicated that guy is like vilified like there is no chance of like him having a say in the conversation trial by the mob is not time. good like this mob mentality is bad i yeah. agree with that but i don't think that's exclusive to the me too movement but we're using it right now to say oh that person is bad oh fuck that person there's no further conversations being happening if it's a movement to say yes okay this hierarchy we've created of men and women, which is a result of the way men are expected to act, that women are expected to act. You know, at first I really didn't care for this man, but now he really growing on me. This man out here speaking the truth. Toxic masculinity is overblown. Three, two, one, go. I overblown. Wait, what? Oh, overblown. What, do, what is that? Ooh, can, you, can you use a different word? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's no, the exact right word. Oh my god, I literally just complimented you, my guy. You know, my excuse is that he's confused. Maybe he might change his answer, but for the most part, I'm going to say he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on right now. This man's using tricky words. He's trying to trick him up. Yeah, I think I just somewhat agree that it's blown out of proportion because I think what happens with social media is a group of people coin a term, and now it's we're all painted by it. Like, we are not in, like, a post... I don't know, like rape culture world, you know, like women are being catcalled every day. Oh my God. We're still in a post world where men are able to still tell women that, hey, you're very beautiful 
and that that is considered catcalling nowadays whenever back in the day catcalling is whistling at a woman and chanting at her literally you could just be walking down the street see a gorgeous girl say oh my god you're very beautiful really liking your hair it's like oh excuse me excuse me sir there is no catcalling in 2019 and so like men are still i think seen or experienced as like a predatory presence to women so like that's why i just don't think it's like overblown i think it's just it's new if we were good men there wouldn't be feminists they wouldn't be attacking us they wouldn't be hating us you have a lot of guys who don't want to commit to marriage you have a lot of guys who cat call so yes men have become toxic so you're telling me your grandpa back in your grandpa days men were just the most polite thing in the world just just they never cat call this was never a problem back in your grandpa's days but men nowadays in 2019 they became just so toxic and enraged about women bro just shut your dumb ass up you you said it was fine back in the day you said back in your grandpa's day everything was fine but now now everything's all fucked up because women can pay for dates and women are allowed to be the breadwinners in the house bro, bro shut the fuck up with your dumb ass you were literally making some of the most hypocritical statements of your fucking life you you you're not offended when it comes down to them paying for shit but you're a complete feminist when it comes down to men being toxic and then another thing guys not committing to marriage a lot of guys just don't even want to get married because if you haven't seen what happened to my man jeff bezos women have everything to gain in a marriage and guys have everything to lose my man jeff bezos for i don't know how long they've been married but forever how long they've been married this man has been breaking in the dough working his ass off his wife been somewhere just mooching off of this man's taking his money i'm like she had her own side business she had her own business and everything but as soon as they get divorced she doesn't have to give this man a dime not a dime but jeff bezos has to give her 35 billion dollars because she was fucking this man for x amount of years if anything guys are looking out for their future because they're like you know what we may not be together forever i mean like what's the point of marriage me loving you is not enough is the only thing that can prove my love is material things i mean like me throwing a wedding and getting you some ring that costs way too much money is that the only way i can prove my love me not saying you're beautiful <laughs> and me saying that i love you almost every day is that not enough i mean like if anything you're a piece of shit if you need someone to pay money so that they can say that they love you i mean like at that point you're no better than a cam girl i guess all the times of me sticking with you through thick and thin and not cheating on you that's that just means nothing until i get a ring on that finger and once again i have to be i have to be consistent with all my beliefs and all my morals i'm very traditional I see what you're saying, but the way you're framing it, like this, this word moral is kind of. You don't know what that is anymore though. That's, that's well, it's like, it sounds like you're saying like it's men's job to be like the moral compass of society. Mm, it is. No. I, I no. think it's everyone's it, 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 job. It's everybody's, but men, if men want to coin themselves as the leaders, you have to hold but up to the good and the bad. That's part of the problem though. Like that's what I think toxic masculinity or it's putting too much pressure on yourself. Bro, this guy is not traditional at all. This man is literally just some feminist that's trying to disguise himself as just a regular everyday Joe that thinks, you know, society is this or that. This, this guy is definitely a feminist. This, this guy is definitely a feminist. Guys are wrong. Guys should pay for everything. You literally have to improve yourself. There's nothing wrong with women. Women are right every time. That That's literally what he's practically just putting out there at this point. But this is the end of the video, you guys. And I want to know, where do you guys stand on all these topics? Tell me in the comments down below. Do you guys agree with me or do you guys think I'm, <laughs> I'm the dumbass in this situation? I would really love to know you guys' opinion. But other than that, don't forget to join my Discord. Link in the description. I really want to build up that community. Also, come follow and watch me on Twitch every Monday. Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We already hit affiliation, but I really want to build up my viewership and hit that coveted partnership. Wow. It was so beautiful. Also, don't forget if you're new to subscribe, don't forget to like and share. It really helps me out and it really makes me happy whenever I see you guys liking, sharing, and commenting below. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>